From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big, great, wonderful day as the highest lift of your benefits in 40 years became a reality today. Today we had the COLA raise announced and your benefits are going up the largest in 40 years. All the breaking news on this incredible great news for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and World Benefits. It came with the news that the stock market is up 800 to 900 points right this moment. Why? I have the latest breaking news and the analysis of this bear market rally underway right now. Bonds are up as well at the same time that stocks are up in advance of the next FOMC meeting for the Federal Reserve. But the other great news, massive stimulus. In today's recording, we go over the nearly $300,000 of FSC's federal stimulus checks that viewers are getting, and I'm going to show you how to get them. Stay in the big second half of this recording. Then we go over to inflation relief stimulus checks, ISC. I'm going to go over how to get that big money in the big second half. Stay to that second half. And then lifetime stimulus, the raise of your benefits, and why this raise of your benefits will not be the only one. I have the breaking news on that front today in the big second half as well. But we have two major corporations beating on their earnings and beating on their revenues today. What's happening on that front? We have a guidance on what's happening with those restless corporate earnings later this week. This is third quarter coming in. And then we have the breaking news you didn't hear this morning on Morning to LA. The market rally up nearly 900 points right now. A reaction to the news, I love it, with some of the best names in the business. Uh, their reaction to the bear market rally and what you should think about this type of environment. Plus, we'll be looking forward to what's happening tomorrow, and also we'll go back over that PPI and the CPI that have been released in the last 24 hours. It's a big day with massive stimulus, massive inflationary news, massive news on the stock and bond market. Everything's looking great except, uh, I don't have my Halloween costume yet. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, don't get spooked because the markets are actually quite delicious today. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the breaking news all starts right here, right now, on a special edition of Afternoon. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're doing great. We're here on the shores of Santa Monica, California, with a special edition of Afternoons LA. As finally we get that cola raise that determines how much your benefits go up a lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. A big week for the economy as we got the latest details on the PPI yesterday and the CPI just minutes ago. Earnings, third quarter. Earnings from corporate America come coming in. We'll have the latest on that. The Federal Reserve getting ready for that October meeting. And Loretta Mester, one of our most beloved governors, you love her as well, she commenting on what the Federal Reserve has and hasn't done, all the latest details on that front as well. Massive stimulus, new stimulus, and everything you need to know on that front. It's a big recording, and you want to stay the big second half recession, inflation, your benefit raise, your housing market, and your unemployment, the fourth stimulus as well. It's a big broadcast and it's a big show of breaking news. And this, my friends, is L. Light. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful day for this October 13th, the day we accounted down to. As the announcement came in, and you saw it first on this channel, in the middle of the night on our very first YouTube short, that YouTube short, which has been very popular ever since, broke the news. 8.7. Your COLA raise for the year 2023 will be a whopping 8.7% raise of your benefits. Congratulations. This is incredible news. The highest lift of your benefits in 40 years. Now, make it very clear to you that you got a raise last year of 5.9%. So this is on 
top of the prior raise for the prior year. It's on top of the 5.9%. It's 8.7 on top of the 5.9%. And the other breaking news is that Jay Bow says that inflation will be with us next year and the year after that. So you're going to get another third raise next year and a fourth raise the year after that on top of these raises across the board. The reaction to the news came in across the board. Dan Ancock, Director of Government Relations of the National Committee to Preserve Social Security, says the COLA raises are really good. Then we had the important remembrance, a detailed first on this channel only three months ago, is that your benefit lift will not be eaten up at all this time around by Medicare. Why? Because Congress passed that great bill over the summer that reduced Medicare Part B plan premiums so that they will no longer consume the raise of your benefits. Part B premiums will be 5.2 lower this next year, dropping them across the board. Mary Johnson, Social Security and Medicare Policy Analysis Seniors League said, this means beneficiaries will be able to keep pretty much all or most of your COLA increase. Congratulations. This is just incredible great news. There you go. How do you calculate this out? How do you just sort of run the numbers in your head? Pretty easy. Because there's 12 months in a year, because your benefits are going up about 9%, 8.7, 8.7, which is about 9, you can basically think of this as an extra month of a check. So let's say, for example, you get $1,000 a month. Instead of 12 months of checks, think that you're going to get an extra 13th month. And that 13th month is going to be a little bit less because it's not a full, it's not a full 100%. It's going to be about like $900. So that's how you can run it in your mind. Just a, basically an extra month of check this coming year. But the year after that, you're going to get another raise as well. Guess what? You also got it right. You're learning so well on this channel. God bless you. You predicted that CPI was going to go higher in the month of September, and you got it right. Over the last two months, you had talked about that the rent is not going down. It did not in the data released today. That the salaries are not going down. They did not in the data released today. And that the medical bills are not going down. They did not in the data today. You also predicted that the CPI for the month of September would be higher than the month of August. And baby, you got it right. Give yourself a pat on the back. The CPI for the month of September rose 0.4% compared to the prior month of August. You got it right. When Dow was only looking for an estimate raise of 0.3%. Year to date, 8.2% inflation. More about that in a second. Why did the number go up? You said it right. Food and energy accelerated 0.6% compared to the prior month. The data also came with rent up 0.7%, there you go, another 1%. Transportation, this is a this is a big surprise. I don't usually cover transportation. It went up 2% in one month. And medical, of course, went up 1% just exactly like you predicted. You did a great job. You really want to congratulate yourself. Look how great you're doing as a member to this channel. And with that, that's why you want to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. In this recording, we have massive stimulus for you. There is now three categories of stimulus. Federal stimulus checks, FSCs, nearly $300,000 over 300 checks. Inflation relief stimulus checks, ISCs, and lifetime stimulus checks, which we just started to get the tip of the iceberg right in this part of the recording. Let's continue right with that lifetime stimulus checks right now, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Now, Jay's bow has made it very clear. You can have inflation next year as well. And that's why you're going to get another raise on October 13th next year as well. And that, he says, inflation the year after that. You get another raise, and these are raises on top of a raise. So it just keeps on getting better across the board. This lifetime, this massive FSCs are just getting better by the day. Let's look at those incredible FSCs to understand what they are, how you get them, and where they came from. These federal stimulus checks are wonderful. The first three were passed by the President of the United States in the month of March. Joe Biden, executive action. I call them checks A, B, and C. They're federal, so they're from the federal government. About 
one hundred thousand dollars wow and there you go starting the month of march viewers have been getting them since march but there was more congress came around and passed a bill and that established more fsc's nearly 100 checks growing left and right then i found other checks l and m n and o all in the membership newsletter you want to go into the video and become a member purple hawk purple power calcino vip member join this channel and get these nearly 300 plus checks of FSCs detailed to you in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, plus the ISCs and plus the lifetime stimulus. Welcome to nearly 100 new members joining every 48 hours on this channel. What are you watching right now? You're watching the number three most watched financial channel in America with three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3, launched in March 2020. No American broadcaster has gotten more Americans, more money than this channel. $50 million to date. We're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time with you in just a second. Stay the big second half. But let's go on to the other breaking news hitting left and right today. Corporate earnings. So surprises, a couple companies came in and beat. Delta Airlines, another airline beating with a great third quarter. And Walgreens led higher by good numbers on the healthcare front. You already saw those numbers on healthcare. Medical went up 1% 1 in just one month. It beat on earnings, 80 cents, compared to the estimate of 77, and beat on revenue. Top is is top is uh revenue and bottom is earnings so it's meat on the top and it also beat on the bottom now as this news came in on the cpi and that cpi ral showed higher inflation compared to the prior month what was the reaction to the news and what was the reaction to yesterday's news as well the producer price index was released yesterday, assistant brother of the CPI, and when that showed that we went up monthly, 0.4% in September compared to the prior month, and we are driven higher based upon food prices, up 1.2% in one month. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? No, you can't imagine because you've been riding the live chat. And energy prices up 1%. The reaction to the news at the time was Loretta Mester, the Fed governor from Cleveland, who we really like, said... We have gotten nothing done in just a short period of time. We have gotten nothing done. That was her comment then and her comment today, that the Federal Reserve has gotten inflation not down even a smidgen, with inflation now tracking it over still 8% in today's breaking news data. That's why you have to get that force check checking every U.S. state, because the Federal Reserve is going to raise rates all the rest of this year, all the rest of next year into 2024, Things are going to cost more money. Now, despite all that, doesn't that sound like bad news? It should sound like bad news. The stock market is up nearly 900 points since this morning's live broadcast. What happened in the last two hours? It's a rally. And why should you view that rally in a certain way? Because this is people getting excited for the wrong reason. You don't want to be drawn into what I can basically call a sort of peer pressure mob mentality, blind leading the blind rally, where people think this is the bottom. It's not the bottom. People think this is an opportunity for them to buy and hold and make big money. No, it's an opportunity to buy and hold and lose your shirt. And the reaction is much the same. Josh Brown, who I just love, um, he came out and said, what's the rush? Why do, you have, why do you have to put a whole position in now? Why do you have to call bottom the stock market right now? The right approach is adding exposure, just not acting as bad as it can be, because clearly that's not the case right today. Absolutely brilliant. Isn't that a brilliant analysis? Then we have a great comment from Brig McCam's Greg Swenson, who says, it's a mistake to get excited about this rally. I think it's a mistake to get excited. It's more of a bear market rally, and it's going to come with more bad news, says Swenson. And then other similar comments came in from Art Hogan and also on Ons Ed Moya. Wall Street's confident inflation is slowly coming down and it continues the market, but peak inflation, peak Fed tightening is priced in for some time. 
I don't agree. Do you agree? Do you agree that Wall Street is embedded into the price of the market? More interest rate spikes from Jay Powell into next year? Of course not. They've not embedded into the market. No. But I really do like the comment from R. Hogan. I featured him for over three, two years on this channel. People sat back and said, what changed? What do we know that we did that we didn't know? He says, we, need, we knew the services part of Basket was stubbornly high. That's not new information. Disappointingly, but not new. I think it's a knee-jerk move, especially when you juxtapose it with what happened at 8.30 a.m. today. I don't think you're going to see a lot of individuals and professionals making adjustments on one data point. The majority of moves we're seeing are just folks who are trading on the age and do it by minute by minute, not month by month. He says, basically, these are people who have no new news in the last two hours. We don't. And that this, this ability to sort of jump at something is dangerous. It really is. It really is. That's why you're doing so well on this channel. You were able to understand this before it happens. It's going to happen again. We're going to have other days when the stock market is up 2,000 points and people are going to say, wow, we're out of the, the dark woods. No, you're just going into, into the woods. We go, we go. <laughs> Uh, from was that was that Songheim? I think it was Songheim. And with that, that's why you have to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's jump in those incredible checks right now. Let's look at those huge checks. The first checks are A, B, and C. The President of the United States passed these about the March, and they're absolutely incredible. Yes, about a hundred thousand dollars. Views have been getting them ever since in the month of March. Let's look at those great checks A, B, and C right now. The first check is. Check A. Single individual, 75000 or less, go get it. Married couple, 150000 or less, go get it. How much is it? There you go. It is $6,500 to $12,000. Congratulations, Spelly, who got this incredible check. How do you get it? You go under this video and join L8. Join L8-1, join L8-2, or join L8-3. Become a member to any of the three channels, then get that membership newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Air Time, via the YouTube alerts. Go down to where you see Check A, click the link, and go right in Apply. Yes, that's the newsletter. These applications require you to apply online, and I actually do all the work for you. I deliver it to you in the membership newsletter. You go down to Check A, you click the link, and you go right in Apply. But you're not done there yet. No, I got more checks for you. B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. A forced must check in every U.S. state. Incredible, great news. Here's an example of what happens with check B. Here is Frank Bacuso. He joined this channel where membership in this channel is just a few measly dollars, just a few dollars to become a member, and in just less than thirty days of fate, paid a few dollars. Look what he got. 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. He got thousands of thousands of dollars, almost $10,000. By just paying a few dollars to this channel to become a member, that's why membership pays off. That's why nearly 100 new members every 48 hours are joining this channel. And then we have another viewer off Florida who did the same thing. She got nearly $100,000 of check B by becoming a member. Go right in this video, join this channel, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, Sino VIP. We're not done there yet, no. We are then continuing over to check C for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. These checks are incredible. In the membership newsletter, you go down to check C, and for check C, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, the great thing about check C is even better than check B. In check B, the average viewer's channel is now getting 18 months of bills paid at about five bills per month. You know, the rent and their four utilities. That's 18 times five. That's about 80 checks are getting paid. About $80,000. But when you go to check C, the same number of checks, 18 months, about five months, uh, five checks per month. But viewers, what are they doing? They have access in the membership newsletter. There's 12 places to reach out to for those incredible 80 plus checks. 12 places to reach out to for those 80 plus checks. Promise me this. Number one, you stay in the big second half of this recording as we go over the remainder of these checks. But number two, when you get to check C and you start making those phone calls for check C, you reach out to all 12 places. Make sure you reach out to all 12 places because you'll get a no, but you'll also get a yes. Go into this video and become a member and get those incredible check C's. Let's look at some of those success stories for check C's that viewers have been getting. Remember, this channel has been around for two years, and in that time, we've gotten people $50 million. 
20 to 30 thousand dollars for rent go get check c look at these numbers for utilities incredible Fifteen thousand dollars for utilities from mark's brother law lynn glenn getting 12 months of utilities just days ago another viewer 12 months of utilities two viewers 14 months of rent we had a one of you viewer deborah just over the weekend getting sixteen thousand dollars from this channel here we go for snap that same brother law mark getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years there we go combinations of checks nisi went from twenty three thousand to fifty thousand mark went from thirty two thousand to 166,000. Imagine Mark just paid a few dollars to become a member and got 166,000 from this channel. Why would you not become a member? Then here's some other success stories. Here's Mark. He went to 50, then he went to 166. Here's Lorraine. She was at 105, she went to 155. We have Drag and a longtime viewer, triple member to all three channels and also volunteer on the community page. She added another 40,000, bringing her grand total to 170,000. The success stories keep on coming on in. And with that, what are we looking for right later this week? We're looking for really the countdown of the other news. We're looking to see on Thursday the labor numbers, new jobless claims, and we're also looking to see later this week the retail sales numbers. We're expected to go higher because the PPI went higher and also the CPI went higher. In the last 24 hours, we did have a comment from the President of the United States, as I told you we would, about that cutting of gasoline by OPEC plus he did not call upon Congress which has been battling to potentially in a bipartisan way pass a piece of legislation that would go after OPEC plus under the Sherman Act for price manipulation and cutting gasoline the president is reportedly considering that, but hasn't said yes or no publicly yet. We really don't know. We're also getting ready for some housing data. You know that housing data is going to be weak. What I've reported for you over the last few weeks is that there's a series of industries we're next going to see really implode. First, housing is already in a recession. We understand that. We understand prices come down. But the thing on housing we're waiting to see is the data for the housing that was impacted when the 30-year mortgage went to 7%. That 30-year mortgage went to 7% just last month. And so people who are not in escrow or not finishing escrow on buying a home yet based upon a 7% mortgage. So the impact of that bad mortgage rate, that really through the roof mortgage rate, the highest we've seen in decades, that impact on the housing market still, that data has still not come in. It's, you know, it's, it's weeks out. Next, auto. We're starting to get the glimpse of the auto crash. It hasn't really kicked in yet. The impact of the auto crash will be seen by inventory not moving and people unable to finance that car because of raising debt levels. Number three, we haven't seen the impact of the labor market by this recession yet. And last Friday, we had the non-farm payroll numbers that came in, and the unemployment rate actually dropped. The labor numbers were actually really good. So you're going to see that dissection or the bi or the, the two sides of the coin in this economy. Certain parts that are still holding up because they get impacted later recession, and the other parts that fall apart later on. In the big second half, we'll go over more about this analysis. And we'll go over more to expect with this economy. But first up, we're going to go over the continuation of those federal stimulus checks. FSCs coming up in the big second half. $300,000, 300 checks. They're coming up after the break. Then we go over to inflation release stimulus checks. ISCs, lifetime stimulus checks. And then we'll look over to student loan debt forgiveness. I have an update about that as well. Plus, we'll go over our analysis, what you got right, and my new projections on what's coming up next. Because remember, that's what we learn to earn. We prepare ahead of time months ahead of time for where the economy is going so we are there and understanding it before it happens it all comes up in the big second half of the shores of Santa Monica, california it's a big day it's a big show you knew it was going to be and i'll see you back at 60 seconds as afternoon's LA continues if you want money right now not five days from now and not five weeks from now then reach out to the community page the volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities that's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. 
stay with Ally for more. Join Ally Late daily for the excitement of the new Ally Late live daily. The excitement starts on mornings Ally Late at 9 a.m. Home Ally returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues in a big second half as we continue with those FSC checks. Congress coming along and passing other checks after the President of the United States got his done. And that's where we pick off right now. Did you become a member? Hope you did. Welcome to the hundreds of new members joining the Purple Power family. Getting massive checks, staying ahead of the ball game. That's what we teach how to learn and earn on this channel. Let's continue with those FSC checks right now. And we pick up with the ones done by Congress. They are the incredible checks E through K. Let's look at those huge checks right now. And what's at issue across the board? Chuck E is a great check, and boy, is it wonderful. It is $7,500. Wow. Check F, $4,000. That is incredible. Then we go over to check G, 30% off. Wow. Check H, $2,000. Huge. Check I, $8,000. Oh, my goodness. Check J, $8,000. Oh, that's just wonderful. And then check K, $14,000. That is absolutely incredible. More FSCs. Here we go. Check L, I had $100,000 on average of low is free money. And then M, $4,000 of grant money. Stimulus N, my favorite. It is a free computer. Free computer, free tablet, a free uh, desktop. Up to $100 for it. Most great tablets are less than $100. So this works wonderfully. Plus free internet, just incredible. I love Stimulus N, don't you? Then O. Zero down payment, zero closing costs, and the zero credit check and zero insurance for the purchase of first home. And then stimulus P, 3% down and $8,000 of free closing costs across the board. That is absolutely incredible. That is the continuation and the finality of those FSCs. Let's recap because there's a lot in there. I know mean, that's a lot to digest. The largest FSC check. $100,000. Smallest, $8,000. Fastest rounding time. Johnny got $45,000 in two days. Yes, absolutely. Start on the money, get $45,000 by Wednesday. By Friday, he got $80,000 by putting 15 applications in and getting 50% approved. Absolutely. The nature of the checks, we got something for everything. <laughs> we got home repairs. We have appliances like a refrigerator, a furnace, uh, a washer dryer. We have rent. We have utilities. We have mortgage assistance. We have stuff for the car. Uh, we have the internet. We have the computer. We got literally something that all walks of life could love. All in the incredible newsletter down there at FSC. That are the incredible FSCs. Now let's turn to some inflation release stimulus checks. ISCs are different because these come from your states. Inflation release stimulus checks, how do you find them? They are in the membership newsletter, down at check D. You go down to check D in the membership newsletter, click the link, it opens up a brand new page, and at check D, like donut, it has the states. List the state, then list the amount, then list a website run by the state that you're in that explains how the check is sent out. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, when does it come, everything you need to know, incredible. These Inflation release stimulus checks are different than the federal release stimulus checks. First, the federal release stimulus checks, FSCs, are federal. So they come from the federal government. Congress, the President of the United States, massive sums of money, Washington, D.C. The inflation release stimulus checks are from the states, however, and those huge checks are great. They're about thousand dollars on average. Single individual, 75000 married couple, 150000 same eligibility. And then... Those checks, the ISCs, are automatic. 
And finally, you have to generally have a tax return on file. Go to irs.gov to electronically file it so they know where you are. All the incredible details of those ISCs are in the membership newsletter down at Check D. Which then brings us to lifetime stimulus checks. Lifetime stimulus checks. Now, here we go. The news finally today, October 13th. As your benefit raised for next year, 8.7%. You're going to get a letter by the end of the year, by in the month of December, that says your benefits are going up 8.7%. To run this number, you just basically think of it a little bit less than an extra month of a check. So again, if you get $8,000 a month, so just think of this as just about another extra check, just a little bit less. Yes, that's about $870 extra per year. Incredible. Over your lifetime, it'll be thousands and thousands of dollars. For example, for someone who make, gets $1,000 of benefits a year, this will be about $5,000 to you in just five years. Isn't incredible? Just absolutely incredible. And again, once your benefits go up, they never go down. This is on top of your existing raise from last year, 5.9%. And you're getting two more raises after this. It's incredible. And that is your lifetime stimulus. Let's jump back into this economy right now because this is very important and this is exactly what we learn to earn on this channel, what we teach to move and groove and take it from there. Loretta Mester, who works with Jay Powell, she is one of the Fed governors under Jay Powell, is a governor out of Cleveland. I featured her a lot because I like how blunt she is. She really tells us a little bit more than the other Fed governors. And when she say in the last 24 hours. She gave us really clear words. Earlier this fall, Loretta Master said, we will be raising rates at least into next year. So that's how he knew that's what Jay Powell was gonna say when he said it in September. Jay Powell actually went further. He said he's gonna raise it into 2024. But what did Loretta Master say in the last 48 hours? Exactly what you and I talk about on this channel. She said, we have gotten nothing done for purpose of inflation. Her comments coming in on this channel are just exactly what we discuss on this channel. She said, we've gotten nothing done. Loretta Master said, there has been no progress on inflation. This came as the PPI was released yesterday. She would have the same analysis today for the CPI because it did not show any decrease across the board. Again, that CPI for today shows a 8.5% uh, raise of the C uh, of inflation year to day, excuse me, 8.2% year to day. This is exactly what I talked about with you. So why is this so important for you? This is so important for you because everything that we're watching going on around us it's not improving the situation. It's actually keeping the same status quo or making it worse. Let me explain what's going on. Last year, in spring of 2021, I was the first and only American broadcaster at the time to say that the U.S. economy would suffer inflation at 8% in December of 2021. It was. Then in January 2022, this year, I said that inflation's caused by the inability to get the products from the factory, the farm, to you cheaply like it was pre-pandemic. This is calls, ca called supply chain disruption. There's an inability to get the shipper, the pilot, or the truck driver to get the products to you at the same price point they did back before the pandemic. Also, gasoline is causing inflation. As gasoline goes higher, inflation goes higher. And that became a big issue last week when OPEC Plus cut production of gasoline's 2 million barrels a day. I said in January, February this year, the Federal Reserve, by raising interest rates to battle inflation, will not solve inflation that is caused by supply chain disruption and that is caused by gasoline. What do we learn in today's data for that CPI? Raising interest rates did not solve inflation for medical, still 1% up. For, lay, for rent or shelter, still 1% up. For transportation, which is a brand new one on this channel today, up 2% in just one month. For food, we talk about it all the time on the channel. Soda pop, jump in the live chat. Is the soda way up? I don't know what you're going to say. Soda, comma, way up, comma, your state. Is the eggs way up? Right in the live chat if it is. Eggs, comma, up or down, comma, your state. This is what you're talking about. This is what you and I are talking about. And the problem is that the Federal Reserve can 
continues and will continue to raise those rates. And yet, inflation is not coming down. So what does this mean for you? It means that now suddenly you don't have two problems or one problem. Now you have three problems. You have inflation and you still have inflation. Now added to inflation, you have higher interest rates. Now added on top of that, you also have a recession. And what comes up next that you need to be prepared for? Industries, one at a time, falling apart. Now, certainly it may seem confusing, and this is why I want to analyze for you right now, that a company like Delta reporting corporate earnings today, major beat, top and bottom. Top is revenue, bottom is net profit. Walgreens, beating on revenues today and beating on earnings. So you say to yourself, wait a second, some companies are doing really well. How is this possible? Because some industries will weather the storm and some won't. What are my projections? Housing is going to fall apart hideously. Hideously. As the people who are trying to go now sell the house, buy the homes the last 30 days, 45 days approximately, at a 7% mortgage can't, the homes won't sell. Number two, the auto industry. They're going to fall apart. They're absolutely going to fall apart because no one can afford to finance a car because most people do finance a car. That's $60,000 with a, with, a, with a debt rate risen by Jay Powell. They're not going to be able to afford it. Number three, what's the other industry that will really suffer next after that? I believe it's going to be retail. Retail will be a little bit longer on the equation. You can see the numbers on holiday sales. You can see the numbers on Black Friday sales. You can see the numbers on um, after New Year sales. You can start to see these numbers, and they're going to be misses. They're not going to show the demand that Americans are looking for. And yet you're going to see numbers like travel and leisure, the hotels doing well, the airlines doing well. They'll fall apart later in the equation. You know, there was a story that came out yesterday. I forgot to feature on this channel. Maybe it was two days ago. United Airlines added a gazillion new destinations. Destinations like Copenhagen has not had on its, on its flight pattern for several years. Why? Because they believe that business travel will be way back at least by 2023 or 2024. This is interesting. So they're being prepared for after the recession's come, finished. You know, late 2023, early 2024. I don't, that's really fascinating analysis, but don't get confused by that. Why is this so important? It's important because what's happening with the stock market today. One of the analysts who's very, very smart today started with the following statement. When asked where has he been in his positioning over the last few months, he said, I've been all cash. Yeah, he does talk about buy, 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 buy this stock, buy that stock. But when asked about his own positions, he says, I've been cash. He says, I've been cash because I don't want to get bitten. And I also don't want to look for the bottom. I don't want to be bottom feeding, looking for the bottom of the market because I need a bitten. I want to rather be conservative on the situation, stay a cash until I know where I'm going with it. And that's why you stay here as well. Shows continue throughout today, and I want to personally thank the viewers of this channel who have gotten it so right. You got that CPI for the month of September right. You got the projections on the food prices going up in the month of September right. You got the analysis on the raise of your benefits generally right. I know it's a hard number to do. You got the analysis on people getting too giddy, too happy, too early in the equation with the stock market today as well. That's what we're here to learn, to earn. As you go into a dark time, as you go into a dark time when the economy turns south, there are going to be people who learn ahead of time that know where the economy is weeks ahead of time, months ahead of time, and who are those people? You. People who don't learn anything get smacked when the bad news hits because they've not prepared themselves accordingly. These are people who don't watch to the second half of the video. These are people who don't even watch a video. These are people who just sit around and wait for things to come their way. Not going to be a good situation. I'm so proud of everything you've done, and you should be really proud of yourself as well. The content will continue to escalate, and the, and the information will continue to grow. As I now understand, your learning levels have improved. I'm going to deliver it even more and stronger and more in-depth. So you can come along for this ride as we ma maneuver through this economy every step we can. From the shores of San Marco, California, make sure you become a member and get those incredible sums of money. Join this channel, go on to this video, subscribe. 
whether it's LA1, LA2, or LA3, the programming continues tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time with a brand new evening highlight and also in the live editions throughout the day. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on getting every sum of money you can, and stay always here. Remember this graphic. Remember this graphic. The financial cliff currently underway. But as the financial cliff turns, you will know it's happening because you're going to be prepared for it. How? By removing any debt, switching to fixed rate interest rate debt, reducing your spending, and getting as much stimulus as you can. By becoming a member right today, be part of the Purple Power family and getting all that incredible sums of money. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.